So today we've come to Windsor. I don't think I'm supposed to be on the grass. But now we're wandering around out here by the castle. The queen is in Scotland, so she's not gonna be here, but we're checking out the castle. wouldn't let us, we couldn't film anything inside the castle, but Madeline, can you tell us a quick, uh, quick story about something you saw or experienced inside the castle? Okay, so the tour guide told me to look for a clock by the fireplace, but all I could see was this bust of a woman's head, and then it told me that that was the clock. When you pulled her left earring, it, her eyes changed into numbers like on a digital clock, and when you pulled her right earring, it played music. That's crazy, isn't it? What else did you enjoy seeing inside the castle? All of the decorations. It was very pretty, wasn't it? Yes. They even turned weapons into decorations. They very did. odd, but very cool. It was super cool, wasn't it? Did you have fun? Awesome. Abby, can you tell me something you enjoyed about the castle? I enjoyed... Oh, you enjoyed the, the audio tour? Yeah. What was your favorite thing to see? Um, the ceiling. The, the ceilings? Yeah. The, uh, one of the ceilings was so cool. Yeah. There were a lot of cool ceilings in there, weren't there? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So now I think we're going to go to the gift shop. Okay. So here's one of the towers. So when you come to tour Windsor, it's sort of split in half. So you can see just here, this side of the castle, we can tour. This side of the castle is the private residence. And so you don't actually get to tour that side. Um, the queen and um, the royal family come to that other side. And then this side over here is the side that's open for tours. And so um, unfortunately, yeah, we can't take any video or pictures inside. But, um, but it was super cool, it was worth it. And the ticket, when you buy a ticket, you get um, your tickets good for a year. So we'll definitely be coming back and doing another tour.
Okay, <laughs> school drop off is done. That was rushed and like. That was bad. It was a hasty one. Well, the problem was that we realized Madeline was wearing two different socks as we were getting ready to head that way, so we had to run in and change socks. I think if it wasn't for the sock mishap, we would have been fine on time. Yeah, we were in great shape on time. And then Madeline's wearing two different socks. It and you can't the... start school with two different socks on. It was my fault though. I mean, I'm the one that matches the socks. Um, I just, I don't know what happened. This big time mom feels what happened. <laughs> You have two? Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look at those babies! Two babies! Way to go! Good job, Abigail! That's awesome! Good morning! So we have left the girls. David and I are at the train station and we're on our way to um, Victoria. And then we're gonna take a train from Victoria to Houston and then catch a. Then we're gonna catch a high speed train uh, and take the train to Liverpool, where the Beatles are from. So we're looking kind of that thing right there, right over here. Believe this? Oh, I don't want to step on the grave to take this picture, but they'll have, I think they'll forgive me. Headstone where Paul got the idea to write the song Eleanor Rigby. I guess he, I guess he thought it's sung. So uh, you can see the name Eleanor Rigby, uh, the beloved wife of Thomas Wood. So how cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, so we've come to Liverpool because David is the biggest Beatle fan of all time. Uh, in the top two, anyway. Top two or three, at least. So um, Liverpool is where the Beatles are originally from, and so David was saying this is sort of like Mecca for Beatles fans. So we're going to be hitting up a bunch of different sites, including touring the houses and all of that. So that's what we're here doing. This is the famous Strawberry Fields. This was a children's home. If you, in fact, if you went right down to the corner here and turned left, you would be on Men Love Avenue and uh, the Mendips, that's what they called their home, where uh, John lived with his uh, Aunt Mimi and Uncle George, is just right around the corner, and John used to come here and used to sneak over this gate and uh, would go play around the children's home. The children's home is no longer here. I think they said it was tore down in 1968, and there's a, there's a new one. They're trying to get enough money now to, they're, they're calling it the Open the Gate campaign, to get enough money to actually open the gate, put a gift shop, which I'm, I don't know if I like that or not, but to do a gift shop and uh, where people can go inside. So this is Strawberry Fields, it really exists. This is the grave of John Lennon's mother. Now, in all fairness, I have to admit, I was a little leery of trying to find this because I kind of felt like it was kind of like going into someone else's house, seeing something that they really didn't want me to see, but I couldn't come to Liverpool and not find it. Uh, Julia was a bit of a wild child, and her mother, her sister, Mimi, had uh, filed some complaints with child services uh, over Julia keeping John, so Mimi and Uncle George uh, took custody of John. Uh, Julia went on to, uh, she had some illegitimate children, and as, again, she was just a bit of a, kind of a, kind of a, uh, lived a rough lifestyle. Uh, but when John was around 16, he got reintroduced to his mom. She was teaching him how to play guitar, uh, but she was using banjo chords, and so he was actually, I don't know how he did it, but I guess he tuned his guitar to a banjo tuning. 
And uh, But John and Julia were finally starting to get close for the first time. But one night after uh, Julia had been at Mimi's house, uh, she was walking to the bus stop and just had, and apparently she was a, quite the jokester. Uh, and But she was telling jokes to a friend and uh, she stepped out into the road in the, where the bus stop was and got hit uh, by a, uh, an off-duty police officer who was drunk. And of course it killed her immediately and it really toppled John's world. And uh, um, they, a lot of people speculate that that's the reason John was uh, so much against authority was that uh, he felt that the police had gotten away with murder with his mom. In fact, in, during the uh, court hearing, uh, when they found the police officer not guilty of manslaughter, uh, Mimi just went crazy and was yelling murderer, murderer, and, it, and apparently it really affected John. But this is the grave of uh, Julia Stanley Lennon, John Lennon's mother. The first time I ever heard about Penny Lane was in 1967. Me and Jeff Harbour were listening to a new single by the Beatles that came out. Uh, one side was Penny Lane, the other side was Strawberry Fields Forever. And uh, of course, Penny Lane, believe it or not, is actually a real place. This is the barber shop that's mentioned in the song. Right over here is the roundabout where the pretty nurse is selling poppies from a tray. And now this isn't mentioned in the song, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to do my research that this is the church where Paul McCartney uh, once tried out for the choir, but they didn't think he sung well enough, so he wasn't allowed in the choir. Imagine that. But this is Penny Lane. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes, and it is awesome. Whenever you come to Liverpool or you hear someone talk about the cavern on TV, what they don't ever tell you, I've never heard of this, uh, it's not the real cavern. The real cavern was caved in several years ago. And we found this. This is the entrance to the, to the original cavern. This is actually the place where the Beatles played uh, back in the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, the, uh, the phony cavern club is just right down this way. It's still cool. It's great to go to, but it's not the real cavern club. It's right down this way. <laughs> Hi! So this is what counts now as the camera club. Alright, so that concludes the first night of uh, Liverpool. We are going to do some more stuff tomorrow. We've got some things lined up that we're doing. I think we're done for tonight. Thank you. Please do that on the way out. And um, if you could avoid standing on the wall. Alright, so we are at John Lennon's house. Of John Lennon. <laughs> This is John Lennon's childhood home. He lived here until he was in his 20s and the Beatles were starting to get really popular and they were having a bunch of fans hanging out outside the house, so he moved. Um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take pictures inside of this house or Paul McCartney's house. So um, here's some shots from the outside. There's David looking at me over my shoulder. Um, and that's all we get. So if you come to Liverpool, um, the National Trust owns both of these houses, and so you can come in and tour the inside of the house if you book your tickets ahead of time. Um, but yeah, that's all the pictures we're going to be able to take. All right. And then this is Paul McCartney's house. Same thing, we're not going to be able to do anything inside, but there it is. Dave, how did you enjoy the first guy? I love the first guy. He's a little bit crusty, but he, he told great stories. He was he was really knowledgeable on the subject. So I liked it. Boy, I seem to have a big head. Does that look big to you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure the, the camera adds... 10 pounds. Head to girth. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that tour? Oh, it was a great tour. These people really know what they're talking about. They know a lot of, a lot of facts. It's sunny out here. Yes, it is. Okay, so we've finished the house tours. Uh, we've got a couple of little errands to run, some like souvenir things that Dave is going to pick up, grab some lunch, and then hop on the train and head back to um, head back to Surrey. See our girls. See the girls. Yeah, yes. miss those ladies. So overall, uh, it was a great your experience. Trip. Awesome. We didn't get to do everything. We kind of ran out of time. But as I told Michael when we were on the van, I don't mind some things uh, still being a mystery. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll make it back next year. And, and, uh, 
house tour was super cool. Um, it was really neat, even as a non diehard Beatles fan, to see kind of where all of that started and the places that they lived and stuff like that. So, yeah, overall, it was really cool. Now we're going to hopefully find the car. It's in this building. But well, we've narrowed it I'm, down. I'm hunting, yeah. It's one of, one of so, 5,000 cars. So we're, so we're hunting for the car. And then, yeah, grab some food, grab some souvenirs, and then be heading back. Well, we've had a great trip, uh, and I can't thank Michael enough for taking the time to come down and uh, to, to drive me around to be my chauffeur. So, uh, can I close the vlog out like uh, the girls do? Yeah, go for it. Okay. This has been the vlog. Uh, other end. Oh! <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Leave that in. Thank you.